collective how's it going let's get a message from a departed loved one just trying to I, I heard mom you got this mom or this could be your, be your mother saying you got this baby Look who just came in from playing outside. <laughs> Hi, baby. Look, she goes on her window. That's the one and only time she's allowed out. When I open that window, she can go out. She's a good girl. We have 80s females popping. Could be a kitty here. My kitty uh, came by. Maybe your kitty came by too. Look, she's just chilling. She could be outside playing right now. She's chilling with you. Hi, Gaia. <laughs> Isn't she cute? <laughs> All right. In recovery, I do not approve of your actions. Some of you are uh, either newly out of rehab or need to because this person is saying you're being extremely reckless. Sorry. <laughs> I just feel like it's relevant the way she keeps being sketchy. No hunting the critters. They're our friends, baby. Sorry, I don't want her to chase the squirrels. <laughs> um, some of you are in recovery from a surgery or are in some kind of treatment. Um, it's like you've given up. This person is saying no. Keep fighting. You will be in recovery. Tell me more about this. I do not approve of your actions. Farmer, animal trainer. So that could be relevant to who this is. Again, with the 80s female popping. Wine lover. Died in bedroom. I'm feeling a couple things. I'm feeling like a grandma. I'm feeling a mom. I have a couple masculine energies coming forward. Something about pets. They didn't approve of something about the pets. That's probably why I keep getting distracted by animals. <laughs> Tell us more, spirit. I'm sorry. Maybe you didn't approve of their actions. Maybe they were the alcoholic maybe or uh, addict of some kind. They could have had mental health and been uh, violent. There is a masculine energy. This could be the masculine. Doesn't have to be. Spying. Be cautious. Somebody's spying on you. Be strong. You have my clothing. You wear it or keep it. I feel like this is a grandpa energy that probably wasn't the best in his life. Um, but there's a warning here. There's like an addict that's uh, off the chains, I heard. Off the, going off the rails, off the chains. It's like they're, they're getting fucked up and distance. You put distance between this person, either that died or the person they're warning you about. There's like really fearful energy. Oh, look at her cuddling up just feel like this is relevant she keeps relaxing and then sitting up and relaxing and sitting up so are you like scared of some kind of uh, retaliation or are you sleeping with one eye open and you could have a stalker like situation for some of you it's not going to be true for everybody Thirties female popping. I feel like this is the mom. I'm sorry you found me. Could you been a uh, drug overdose? They were in recovery. Could have relapsed. Death letter, suicide note. Oh, great grandma, great grandpa. Again, I felt grandpa, grandma energy. This could be a suicide here. There's a. There's like a whole family here. I feel like it's your mom, or if your grandma raised you, grandpa found body outside 
loss of limb or limbs friends group yeah there's a couple people visiting you um, I kind of feel like there's a veteran here that could have lost a limb or this is a car accident could have been someone in your friends group great grandma great grandpa is definitely here even if you don't know them somebody's body was found outside I think it was a suicide here yeah bad dad they're ashamed of their actions um, they had depression loneliness um, they could have gotten recovery but they they weren't thinking logically I think you are a close family anything else from this deck before we move on spirit so you have a, you've had a couple of tragedies here I feel like someone found a grandma or a grandpa in their bed uh, or a drug overdose in their bed um, unfortunately seeing someone hanging outside life purpose all this pain all this loss all this sadness dealing with depression is some, a part of your life purpose you're going to be able to help other people yeah with extreme anxiety female older age not related okay so there were a, a couple female energies here could have been in, someone in your friends group see what this deck has to say messages from your departed loved ones to you getting quiet huh yeah. let's see speak up how will it ever stop or change if no one addresses it or puts work in so there's someone in your family that needs to go to rehab BFFs for life bracelet around my soul. We are still close in death. I'll always be around you for you when you need me or miss me. Love you lots. Again, a friend here. Could have been that wine drinker. The good part is coming soon. Yay! So they are giving you some positive news here. Something good's about to come in for you. Anything else you would like to tell your loved ones from this deck? Put your best foot forward, work hard, and you'll be okay. And the answer is no. I uh, don't really feel like they want you to go back to your ex. Signs on the clock or numbers, you could be seeing this. It's like they're trying to warn you about somebody who is either collecting dirt on you or like literally stalking you. There's a concern here. Make amends, speak your truth, let it go and move forward. Remember the battles you've already won. There's a boundary that needs to be set. It's like you need to tell someone to back off, that you're not interested, um, or that you're going to go to the authorities if they don't leave you alone. It's like, don't live in fear of this person. Do something about it. It's like you're losing sleep, sleeping with one eye open about what this person is going to do next. It will happen in time. Be patient. You're also trying to get something off the ground here. Um, maybe some of you are trying to have a baby. It's not going to be true for everyone. I feel like you're just stressed out and that's what's stopping you. Others of you, you're going to get that acceptance letter. Or you're going to get the job or you're going to find your life purpose and what, what you're going to do with the rest of your time here. It's like everything's clicking into place. You're just in a moment of fog. It will pass, they're saying. Get more info. So there is some more research needed. Maybe you need to look into someone's past a bit more um, if, you're, if you're feeling cautious. I am very proud of you. I will always be proud of you no matter what. So you have achieved a lot since this person passed. Make it a point to get more sleep. You're exhausting yourself. That energy of waking up, worrying. I'm holding your hand through this. You are going to come into remission for those of you that are sick. Just because I left the world does not mean you left my heart. I carry you with me. I watch over you always. I love you. Everything is going to be okay. Let's close out with a message from this person to you. I am standing right next to you. They are with you through this battle, through this fight, protecting you. 
Remember me by the happy memories we created. Don't remember them sick or as an addict. Remember the good times and stay in that bubble. Protect yourself, set those boundaries, and get help.